the Archdiocese of Toronto, and the National Catholic Broadcasting Council. Through the kind cooperation of the Toronto Catholic District School Board, presents Sunday TV Mass. Welcome to the celebration of the Sunday TV Mass on the fifth Sunday in Ordinary Time. My name is Monsignor Sam Bianco. The televising of this Mass is made possible by the contribution from an anonymous donor from St. Pascal Balon Church in Thornhill, Ontario. This Mass is offered for their special intentions in thanksgiving to our Mother of Perpetual Help for the good health of their living family members and for the repose of the souls of their deceased family members and the souls in purgatory, especially those who have no one to pray for them, for increased vocations to the priesthood and religious life, for peace and justice, and may God grant their children and grandchildren the grace to make the right decisions and for healing. On behalf of all who are gathered for this sacred celebration, a heartfelt thanks for the donor for the gift of this Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God our Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Coming together as God's family, we seek mercy and forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You're seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on all of us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, peace to people, people of goodwill. Of we, we praise, praise you, you, we bless, bless you, you, we adore you, we glorify you. you. We, we give, give you thanks for your great glory. glory. Lord God, Lord, heavenly Lord, King, Lord, O God, Lord, Almighty Lord, Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten Lord, Son, Lord God, Lord, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take, take away the away sins Jesus. of the world, have mercy, mercy on us. us. You take, take away the Jesus. sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you will honor the Holy One, you will honor the Lord, you will honor the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that, relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Is this not the fast that I choose? To loose the bonds of injustice? To undo the thongs of the yoke? To let the oppressed go free? And to break every yoke? Is it not to share your bread with the hungry and bring the homeless poor into your house? When you see the naked, to cover them and not to hide yourself from your own kin. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn and your healing shall spring up quickly. Your vindicator shall go before you. The glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help, and he will say, Here I am. If you remove the yoke from among you, the pointing of the finger, the speaking of evil, if you offer your food to the hungry and satisfy the needs of the afflicted, then your light shall rise in the darkness and your gloom be like the noonday. The word of the Lord. Light rises in the darkness for the upright. 
Light rises in the darkness for the upright. Gracious, merciful, and righteous. It is well with the person who deals generously and lands, who conducts their affairs with justice. Light rises in the darkness for the upright. For the righteous person will never be moved. They will be remembered forever. Unafraid of evil tidings, their heart is firm, secure in the Lord. Light rises in the darkness for the upright. That person's heart is steady and will not be afraid. One who has distributed freely, who has given to the poor. Their righteous endures forever, their name is exalted in honor. Light rises in the darkness for the upright. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. When I came to you, brothers and sisters, I did not come proclaiming the mystery of God to you in lofty words or wisdom, for I decided to know nothing among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. And I came to you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. My speech and my proclamation were not with plausible words of wisdom, but with a demonstration of the spirit and of the power so that your faith might rest, not on human wisdom, but on the power of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You are the salt of the earth. But if salt has lost its taste, how can its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything, but it's thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city built on a hill cannot be hidden. No one after lighting a lamp puts it under the bushel basket, but on the lampstand and gives, it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before human beings so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Light. I am sure that um, in your city, wherever you are, there are parking meters uh, that are automatic. On the top of a parking meter, they have a solar panel. 
And it doesn't matter what time of day or night you go there, the thing is already operating. I found out that they take the darkest night of the year, attune the solar panel to that, and then they store the extra power into batteries. So you can never get away from paying your park it ticket. It's in. It's evidently a question of um, a semiconductor in the middle uh, that, that generates a, a photovoltaic uh, cell, and, and it produces the electricity that keeps these gadgets going. I, it's, it's not only uh, parking meters. You may go into any parking lot where the lights go on and off for security, and that runs 24 hours a day now. And of course, one of the big uh, solar panel operations that's had a great effect on our city, uh, um, uh, of course, are, are the, the, uh, the, the electronic uh, 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 planes, the drones that go over, uh, that they run on light from batteries from cells. And that's good. It enables us to study, to investigate. You know, there's a downside to that story too, don't you? Because that very drone that can bring and investigate and open and doors, it can carry ammunition and it can destroy people. So the very solar power that generates the electricity can pay our, our parking fees and, and open up lights to dark areas, but it also can do destruction. It, you, you know this quote, it's, it's an old one. It comes from Churchill about the relationship between science and technology and war. He says, but if we fail, then the whole world, including the United States, including all that we have known and cared for, will sink into the abyss of a new dark age, made more sinister and perhaps more protracted by the lights of a perverted science. So here's this wonderful gift of solar energy, of solar light and solar power that can do so much for people. And yet, as Churchill rightly points out, not only then but now, it can be used in a perverted way. Jesus understood and lived and moved as have his being into the light. All the pictures you see of him at the nativity, there's a, there's a glow, a light surrounding him, and, and it pours forth from his family. It's, it's a natural light that brings beauty, and that's our Christmas cards are filled with that. There is a light that Jesus saw naturally. He lived in a farm community, and he knew the value and importance of sun and light. If the seed is deep, deep in the ground, the light, the solar light has to penetrate deep down in uh, to break the seed open and with the water uh, to, to bring a light into, into the world. Um, and in every place where he, he ministered, his constant goal he was the light to bring light to the world. Nicodemus came to him in darkness. It says at the Last Supper, Judas went out and it was night. And he tried to drag Judas back in, into the light. Uh, there was the darkness in the tomb, the darkness of Gethsemane. Um, light and darkness so much in the Gospels are in this kind of war or contrast. And constantly Jesus wants to present us with the face of light, the virtue of life, of light, even when he himself is burdened down, when he can't see, when, when he's in the dark, it's his light he wants us to push forward and, and to see. Uh, and and that's, that light is a seed in all of us. St. Basil the Great said, as living creatures come to be, a power of reason is implanted in us like a seed within it the ability and the need to love. When the school of God's love admits this power of reason, it cultivates it diligently, skillfully nourishes it, and with God's help and protection. Every one of us, from the moment we are born, carry a seed of love and of reason in our heads and our hearts. And that's what, using the image naturally, that grace or the light from God is constantly penetrating down into my heart and your heart so that it'll flourish, so that the seed that is you and me will become more and more each day like Jesus. And we need that. 
Yet, yes, light can be destructive. If it's too much, you get a burn. But light can be healing. People go out to have their skin healed. Light can bring forth crops and, and nourishment that we desperately need. And Jesus sees the connection between the light from the light and the light from grace. And both of them married together is what brings light and life into the world and sustain us. Yes, there is a lot of gloom in our world today. I don't want to leave you with gloom. I want to lead you with something I discovered this week in the midst of all the stories of gloom that are penetrating us. It's a story of a young girl in Barrie, Ontario. She has autism, suffered terribly, terribly, terribly from the autism. And two years ago, they began an experimental program to penetrate into her brain and put two electrodes there to get to the base of her brain so that it would stop her behavior being destructive and out of control. And she has to wear a vest with a battery on it so that each day she's able to grow and she can swim now. To read her father's story is to bring joy into the one's hearts. Little battery keeps parking meters going. Little battery brings life to a girl who's suffering from autism. Little battery, little light, and lots of God's grace. Surely that's what we need. Jesus is light, and we beg him to give us natural light, the light of reason, and his grace. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, the Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. And so we pray for those in the daily TV Mass community who have asked to be included in our prayer intentions book, especially those who are suffering in mind, body, or spirit, that they may find relief and healing, we pray to the Lord. Lord. We take a moment, please, to pray in silence for our own personal intentions, for the people we love and care for, for all those united with us in prayer. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, you are light from light, the source of all light in Jesus and in the hearts of all people. Never let your eternal light diminish in our hearts. May it grow deeply, profoundly, and beautifully each day, through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, May we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Contrite hearts, Lord, wash away all my iniquities. Cleanse me of all my sinfulness. Thank you. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. The Lord sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of this holy church. O Lord our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant, we pray, that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, 
Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for by his birth he has brought renewal to to humanity's fallen state, and by his suffering canceled out our sins. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life, and by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection uh, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Thomas, our Bishop, all the clergy and all the people of God, Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed now by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distresses. We await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of the peace of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not I worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please join me now in this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart, as though you were already there. I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Permit not that I should ever be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live that, made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks, thanks be to God. God. Our thanks to our donors for the gift of this Mass.